Hello, my name is Eunice Leon Brecky. I am a professor of sociology at Leeward Community College, and today I will be walking you through my course, which is Introduction to Sociology, um, talking really about the learning materials and activities, how they align to our learning objectives, and how they promote um, a diverse uh, offering for students to communicate and engage and learn. So we'll start with um, the simple part, which is just the front page. And we'll go ahead and go to one of my favorite chapters, which is culture. And so I use lesson pages. Okay. So for each one of our lessons, we um, let the students know what the learning objectives are. And for learning and materials, we almost always have um, a reference to the textbook, um, a PowerPoint, and a study guide for students to take notes with. Um, in this case, we have uh, two video clips to illustrate key concepts that they're going to be needing. Um, they're going to actually prepare for the forum by creating a skit, so we kind of give them some variety instead of always just answering certain questions. So, with that said, um, we also have the citations and resources um, presented on each one of our lesson pages as well. Um, similarly, we have our learning objectives, we have our materials, our quizzes that they can take as often as they want, and we also have the PowerPoint, the textbook, study guides. In this case, we have a short clip for uh, another brick in the wall to illustrate one of our core concepts. Um, and I'm also using a short poll from Lalima where we just kind of see if the students watched the video. Um, and let's see, they did, which is awesome. <laughs> okay, so we also again have the resources over here. So um, as the course progresses, we steadily get a little more complicated. Um, the theory and it gets a little definitely more complex. So. Um, this is probably the chapter where there's a lot of that happening. So to help them, there's a short Kahoot activity to focus specifically on theories. And so we have some winners here. Um, there's also another video happening, but before they uh, watch the video, I kind of want them to think about what they might guess about the Milgram experiment so they can have these answers here. Um, and it looks like this, what they guess. Um, I've been playing with Mentimeter, um, so this what's happening in this Menti is that it's basically a, very similar to the PowerPoint, but what I like about Menti is that instead of students um, doing just a simple yes, no, all of the above, I agree, I don't agree, um, Menti allows the sliding ability, so we um, can say, I really don't know, I'm all over the place, I'm here somewhere, which is great because this is actually what we want. We want them to be thinking. So um, after students take this, they're free to actually also see what everybody else said, and that looks like this. Okay. So in this case, for the scenario of a man sorting through garbage for food, um, <laughs> there are some people who think it's normal, some people think that it's not. Um, very few think that it really should be a crime that's punishable, and most of the students are thinking somewhere around here. Okay, it's not normal, but it should not be criminalized. So that's that section. Um, uh, moving on, the next uh, pretty complicated uh, section is social, social uh, stratification and inequality. Here, there are a lot of materials for them. So in addition to the PowerPoint and the reading from the chapter and the study guide, we have um, specific re uh, short articles um, talking about inequality from a national view. Um, but we're really starting to focus on Hawaii here to get the students really engaged in how it relates to their life. Um, so I like this one in particular. This one came out, Hawaii's youth are speaking up. Um, people who are leaving Hawaii because they can't afford to be here. Uh, we also have an optional film. Um, this one's nine minutes long. It's a local production and I like it because it really focuses in on all the different social factors that have created um, such a problem here. So um, that's that section. 
moving on, <laughs> we're going into race and gender. And keep in mind, this is an introductory survey course. So what we want to do is, besides really get a solid grasp on what the terms are, but really to talk about what social constructions are and what it does. So here, um, we do have some video clips. Um, the famous doll studies, classic ideas about gender roles. Um, here we're going to begin using Padlet though um, to try to get the students to see um, what each other are thinking and meet the whole class. Um, in this Padlet, um, some students do take advantage of using um, the graphics, images, and videos to discuss uh, stereotypes and ideas about the future. So, moving on, we do have a accumulating final project for the students, and this is where all their hard work about the terminology and concepts and theories and really applying that sociological imagination is coming to fruit for all their learning objectives. So we do have guidelines and a grading rubric that they have. Um, there's also examples for them. Um, in one format, there is a YouTube channel. In another format, there's actual specific um, um, uh, examples that are more recent. Um, so it would look, uh, let's see if I can find one here. Um, this was just done last semester. Um, this student has done an incredible job and we've gone back and forth. So um, I let students know what it could look like. But what we're really doing um, in their final projects, um, there's a lot of, back and forth here. Um, let me show you this. They do begin with a research proposal. Um, and yes, yeah, so for the most part in their discussion, students are organized into small groups. They do interact with each other, a um, variety of different types of forms. Some of them are very factually based. Some of them are more skits. Some of them are just different. <laughs> Anyways, uh, in the project proposal, the students and I work on what they might want to do. Um, they can meet with me um, in what happens when they finally get uh, their final project together is that they upload their um, project and they uh, participate in a peer review process afterwards. Um, they need to um, review two other projects. Um, and at this point, I'm actually putting their projects into um, more thematic um, strands, just like a real conference would do. So. Um, they interact with each other uh, using the rubric. Um, they're, they're supposed to be helping each other. So after they get feedback from each other, um, they'll take revisions. Um, they might consult with me again, and then they'll upload their final project for grading. So very proud of them. It's a big deal. <laughs> um, at the end, 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 end of the course, uh, we finally go into just a congratulations uh, mode um, and we just have a final reflection for them to think back about the entire course and what were their big moments or ahas and to leave the course with a piece of advice for other people. So very proud of my students. <laughs> okay. Um, thank you so much for listening to me. Um, mahalo.